Welcome back, you guys, to another exciting and chilling episode of Stand Up Revolution. The highlights. Uh, yeah, I try to make it sound impressive, but you know, uh, it is what it is. Uh, this is really cool, you guys. I'm actually here hanging out at uh, Maker Studios. Uh, he's back with Maker. What happened? Nothing happened. I just took a break. I didn't have nothing to say. They didn't have nothing to do. So the two went together, and now we're back. It's great. There's a lot more space, and craft services is amazing. Phenomenal. So um, this week, you guys, I wanted to feature a good friend of mine who's going to be traveling with me to India very soon. And uh, what a coincidence. He's Indian uh, from uh, <laughs> Dallas, Texas. I want you guys to enjoy, sit back, relax, and check out my friend, Mr. Paul Varghese. Good quick word of advice. Uh, if you are not Indian and you see a movie about India, don't think all of a sudden you can relate to me. Like we have this, <laughs> like we have this magical connection. For, I get this literally once a week for the last three years. Oh my God, you're Indian. Have you seen Slumdog Millionaire? <laughs> and that's wrong, because you wouldn't do it to anybody else. Oh my God, you're black. Have you seen Big Mama's House? <laughs> oh my God, you're Chinese. Have you seen King Kung Fu Panda? <laughs> oh my God, you're so damn ugly. Have you seen Shrek? <laughs> oh my God, you only have one leg. Have you seen Footloose? Oh my God, you're blind, have you? Oh, you haven't seen anything, have you? That's... <laughs> a lot of my white friends forget that I'm not white. You know, they say stuff like this to me all the time. Why are you running late? I drove 90 miles an hour all the way down here. I'm like, yeah, because you're white. You're allowed to do that. <laughs> Cop sees a white guy driving 90 miles an hour. He's like, well, obviously there's a crisis at the country club. <laughs> if a cop sees me driving 90 miles an hour, I better be racing Vin Diesel and two other Chinese dudes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the last time I flew, I actually had a guy tap me on my shoulder and he yelled at me. He told me to turn my iPod off because it was too loud. He yelled at me in front of all the passengers. I turned around and it was a black guy. He was doing the thing that some black guys have done to me in the past. They think since I'm not black, they can be aggressive and yell at me and I'll be scared, intimidated and back off. But I wasn't scared, I didn't back off. You know why? Black guys are intimidating on the ground. I'm a brown man on a plane. This is where I intimidate. <laughs> Like the, like the sky is my hood. <laughs> well, there you have him, you guys, Mr. Paul Varhees. Please follow him on Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would point at something random, like right there, and see if they would do that, because they used to do that on my old show, when I'd say, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, and I'd point, and then they'd just make something appear, and you could click subscribe, and it would make you subscribe. Like, going right there. Hope they, you know. and I'm just pissing off the editor. Here we go. <laughs> Son of a bitch! He keeps, keeps pointing, man! Freaking ass! All right, you guys, I'll see you next week right here on Stand Up Revolution, the highlights.